Morning guys, um, Dave Corn here, just gonna do a, do a little video diary for you as to the uh, ins and outs of an athlete, um, training wise, but also sort of what I do on a day to day basis. Um, obviously some things aren't every day, but uh, recovery, training, uh, but also the other factor of my life, which is colitis. Um, so to get to kick things off in the morning, I've got my uh, catabolic steroids, which I take. Um, these allow me to sort of reduce the inflammation of my colitis. Um, been up twice during the night with the usual cramps and uh, not being able to sleep especially well. So, um, yeah, first things first, got to take eight of these uh, with my breakfast, and then it's off to the off to the uh, to the osteo just to get everything realigned and put back into shape. So enjoy. So that was while uh, finishing the eggs off and uh, got a few out already. For me, um, food is fuel. So really important to fuel up in the mornings, get the energy in. Um, I think for breakfast I've got about 30 grams of carbs, about 50 grams of protein and about 36 grams of fat. Um, all that fat's obviously coming from the from the yolks and the egg, so um, just making sure that the fuel's on board, ready for the day, um, just to give it a bit of a kickstart. Also helps to digest the digest the uh, steroids, which are quite powerful as well as they as they go, but they're catabolic rather than anabolic so don't get too excited there's one more thing uh, I forgot what I do most days with breakfast uh, I just jump on the scales nine, nine times out of ten just because I'm curious to see what my body's doing how it's responding to training etc but also because of colitis um, body weight does fluctuate quite a lot um, when I typically go out on season for bobsleigh um, body weight can fluctuate by one to two, maybe even three percent a day, normally down to water. So, um, it could be anything from 103 to 98, something like that. Um, kilos that is uh, on a day to day basis at home. So, really important to keep the nutrition up and keep, keep an eye on training. Um, and also, how my colitis is playing as well because if that flares, then my body weight can just drop very quickly. Um, so, here come the scales. Right, a little update, uh, just finished osteo. 20 to 10 now. Um, yeah, just had to realign a few little bits in the, in the lumbar spine. Um, a couple of imbalances, but I think everyone has those, so uh, it's nothing too major. A little bit of maintenance. Um, so now, what are we on? Uh, off, to, off to the gym. Oh no, we need to eat first. Eat first, uh, get some caffeine on board, and then, then we go to the gym, then we lift. So for me, I do um, I do like a little bit of coffee every now and then. Uh, the important thing uh, about it is obviously the caffeine intake. Uh, I try and have it fairly strong where possible. I normally go for a double espresso, a little dash of milk in my uh, favourite cup. Uh, don't forget to be awesome. So just a little bit of a bit of a booster pre-training. Uh, Going to head to the gym now. Uh, do a few look few little bit of weights few weights just to get uh, get the conditioning back in um, uh, yeah and then tomorrow tomorrow's a running session so wait today and running tomorrow and yeah hopefully it should be all uh, all good in the hood
right, well, um, gym's done. Pretty good session all told. Um, a little bit more volume today rather than intensity, just to, uh, like I said earlier, just try and get, get some load through through the legs and get, get back into things. Slight uh, slight injury to the finger. Burst a, burst a blood, blood vessel, capillary of some sort, so wasn't especially helpful uh, halfway through the session, but you know, you know what they say, blood, sweat and tears, absolutely soaking wet with sweat. Um, but that's what it takes, isn't it? A lot of hard work, a lot of graft. Um, gonna get some nutrition on board now, which I think is one of the most important things post-training. Uh, try and take on some chocolate milk. A um, lot of protein, a lot of good fats in there. Um, chocolate obviously spikes the insulin, so it increased rate of uptake uh, into your body, increased rate of recovery. Uh, jobs are good and, um, and just to facilitate that recovery a little bit more, I'm just gonna head down to the spa, get in the jacuzzi, uh, quick sauna, and that's training done for the day. Uh, one thing I would say as well though is obviously colitis. Um, I took my meds this morning, thankfully. Um, it, it seems to be putting the, the flare to bay, so taking the, the meds is, is important, but equally it can be really, really frustrating when you're trying to train and you're halfway through a session and you just end up running uh, to the toilet. It's not great, it doesn't really do you any favours, messes up your session quite a lot, really uh, disrupts it. So touch wood, I'm okay uh, today, no, no, uh, no urgent visits to the toilet, which is nice. Uh, a good session, another session in a bag, um, and now it's just like I say, time to recover. <laughs>